Hey, the number one piece of advice I wish we would have received before we were married is the number one thing I like to tell young couples. But the difference between a good marriage and a bad marriage is not the difference between a problem-free marriage and one with problems. In a fallen, broken world, every marriage is going to have difficulties. When the problems arise in a good marriage, the couple goes and gets help. Mm -hmm. They're secure enough in the love of God, they're not afraid to look at their stuff and learn the life skills that are important. We operate at levels of awkwardness. A toddler learning to walk falls down and gets bruised. A uh, five-year-old taking the training wheels off the two-wheeler bike falls down and gets abrasions. An adolescent picking up a skateboard trying to ollie or take on the half pipe sprains an ankle or breaks a wrist. As a matter of fact, I would suggest to you, if you're not awkward someplace in your life, you're just not growing. So we face these awkward moments. We look at the difficulties and we go get help so we can learn life skill. The interesting thing is if your roof leaks, you get a roofer to repair it. If your car has a problem with the carburetor, you take it to the auto mechanic. If your washing machine goes bad, you bring in the repairman. Interestingly enough, we treat our appliances better than our relationships. Why is that? So we advise couples that either of them feels they need some sort of help, both of them should run, outrun the other to the counselor to get the help and learn the skills. Next time that problem comes up, they know how to navigate those waters. Um, the next time a new problem comes, they don't know how to navigate, they go get help again. In about 14, 15 years, you start to find one, you're unafraid to look at your stuff. You're growing by leaps and bounds, and you're the couple that other people are coming to for advice.